This poor raccoon was unable to escape, her right paw painfully crushed in a leg hole trap. The chain stuck to an old cable wrapped around a tree. Leg hole traps are body gripping traps historically that were used by fur trappers but have been used for other purposes. Unfortunately, are sometimes used for conflict situations when someone is just frustrated with an animal. At the end of the day, it doesn't make any difference in the number of raccoons in this case that there are in an area. I mean, there's always going to be a number of raccoons in an area that the area can support. So really, you're just kind of torturing and, and perpetrating cruelty on one or two individual animals to really have no gain out of it. So I, I just think that's absolutely heartbreaking. How exactly this happened tragically remains a mystery but the one who discovered her immediately called for help, knowing emergency medical care was needed. The first thing we do when an animal comes in with a leg hole trap is always to do a full medical exam, and that would very often include x-rays. Then we want to remove the trap if we can, and that's sometimes not so easy to do. Sometimes it does require that the animal be anesthetized. We would want to start fluids. We definitely want to start pain medications. If you can imagine having a gigantic metal trap clanging onto your your foot or your hand and breaking bones, it's incredibly painful for them. So once the trap is off and x-rays are taken, we would look at the wounds, see how bad they are, and then they would each have their own individual treatment plan going forward. The most common presentation of leg hole traps at Toronto Wildlife Center is an animal like a raccoon, although there's been quite a few birds of prey as well, that will present with the leg hole trap on their foot or on their leg usually, I'm kind of dragging it at this point. So whatever it was originally attached to, if it was attached at all, has come free. And that's an important point because it means that nobody can actually be investigated or charged for the use of these traps. If it just shows up in some kind caring person's backyard, you know, the animal with this trap, there, there's very little that the authorities can do. The laws that surround them are disappointingly lax. Um, there are laws on a provincial level that say that you have to have a license to use a body gripping trap but they're very poorly enforced. Um, so municipalities really should be the ones enforcing them. And most municipalities, including Toronto, don't have bylaws that prohibit the use of leg hole traps. We have a, a great team of veterinarians and a fully accredited veterinary hospital, but sometimes the injuries are already so bad before we get them that there is little medically that we can do. Sadly, the trap had cut off blood supply to the raccoon's paw for too long and the veterinary team discovered irreversible nerve damage. Her paw was necrotic and she wouldn't be able to use it again. Unfortunately, sometimes in cases like our, our one poor unfortunate little raccoon, even despite our best efforts, we're not able to save the animal because the injuries are so severe. Sometimes people ask us why a raccoon um, like this, this one might have to be euthanized as opposed to, say, keeping it in a cage in a zoo or something like that. Um, but first of all, uh, we, we do operate under both provincial and federal permits as a wildlife rehabilitation center, so we're actually not allowed to just make the choice to keep a wild animal that's not able to be released in the wild. Um, but also, we really do believe in the case like, like this poor raccoon that long-term in captivity, she would have been so unhappy you know, this is an animal that's used to being free and leading out a normal raccoon life using both of her front paws. And instead she would be in a cage surrounded by people she was terrified of in a, in a frightening environment, despite the fact that people might have been having the best intentions. So sadly, you know, it, it is um, the best course of action, especially for adult wild animals that can't be released. Within the same month, Another raccoon who had fallen victim to a leg hole trap was found, but thankfully, he was brought in just in time. We're so happy when we can actually help a wild animal that has um, become affected by these terrible leg hole traps. And we are so happy to be able to help this male raccoon. Our medical team did a great job and our rehabilitation team did a great job. And luckily the injuries were not too bad for this raccoon. We tried to keep a very low stress environment, keeping lots of good pain medications for him so that he, he wouldn't be hurting and um, we were just so happy that he was able to fully recover.
So seeing him run, I can immediately see that he's a little resistant when using his left foot, which had the leg hold trap on him, but he was still able to climb up, which is always a good sign. So we're just gonna monitor him, give him some more time outside to see how he does. And, but he's doing really well right now. Just continue to monitor. While the raccoon continued his time in care, the center received some positive news. So recently we heard that the individual that set the leg pull trap for this raccoon is actually going to be charged, which we're so happy about. I mean, we're so unhappy about what happened to this poor little raccoon, but it is great that this individual is being held accountable for this um, because these cruel practices can't be allowed to, to happen in our communities. My understanding is, is that charges will be laid in court uh, later this month and that also the man will be held accountable for the cost of the medical care for this raccoon too, which is great. The extensive care paid off and soon the raccoon fully recovered. Rescue teams Andrea and Ronan took him to a safe spot to return to the wild. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we share new content. We would also love if you shared this video with a friend.